Hey guys, welcome to Street Freaks Garage. Today, I'm gonna to do a feature video on one of the cars here at the shop that it's probably one of the, I don't know if I wanna say least worthy cars we have here at the shop, but it's uh, definitely one of the most meaningful cars that we have here at the shop to me. This next particular car I'm gonna go ahead and show you is a vehicle that uh, I was uh, transported back and forth to high school in this car uh, way back in the day. Um, it was my mom's car. We had this thing for a long, long time. And long story short, every day to high school, she would go to work and she worked in the same town next to the school. So I would ride with her in this car every single day going to high school. And I have a lot of fond memories in this car. Well, fast forward quite a few years, my parents had sold the car um, my mom didn't really want to sell it, but they had sold the car and uh, she had drove several cars after that, but she never quite loved any other car as much as she loved this particular car. So my dad had sold it to a friend of the family. He had kept the car uh, not in good storage over the years. He had it for a long, long time, probably over 20 years. And when my mom finally passed away in 2013, he had an opportunity and was offered the car back to him. Well, of course, the car has changed a lot since then, since it was sold. It was a beautiful car when it was sold. Um, the guy did a lot of work to it. He was kind of an amateur guy, uh, trying to do an amateur restoration on the car and failed. Over the years, of course, the car sat and sat and sat and it does run. Um, it's not currently running, but we did have the carburetor off to make some adjustments, but the car does run. Um, drive all that good stuff type of thing but it needs a lot of um like temporary restoration stuff type of thing or smaller restoration stuff to get mechanical stuff to get it uh more mechanically inclined for the road the car's in a pretty sad state right now and it makes me bummed out to see that and as i said this car's been off the road for many many years it's sad it's not a real valuable car to anybody else but it's very valuable to me so if you have any parts out there for this car this is the only one that I have of this year. So if you have any parts out there for this car and can set me up or hook me up with a really good price or a really good deal, I'd really appreciate it. Um, like I said, I lost my mom in 2013 and I really wanted to do this car up as a tribute to her and get it back on the road. Now, of course, I could buy another car like this for um, a good price, but it wouldn't be her car. This is her car, her actual car from then. And this was, you know, going to school back in the 80s. So I'm gonna fan you over right now and check it out. All right, here you have it. It's a 1973 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. I've always had a soft spot for these caddies since my family had a 71 right before we got this 73. But this is a 73. Overall, the bodies are in that shape. He did put a couple new fenders on it, the guy that had it. And the rockers are still real good. Quarters are still good skirts are good it did have a white vinyl top so it was all the gold color with the white vinyl top and i remember the day my dad brought it home it had wire wheels on it when he had got it and that was one of the first things he ever wanted to get off there he did not like wire wheels at all so um, it was like i said it's a 73 cadillac coupe de ville the interior looks pretty sad now um it needs a lot of work it was a tan interior i wanted to do the car in it all black inside and out triple black but I kind of feel that it's not really honoring the car the way that she had it, uh, which is gold and white. And that's what she really liked. Like I said, it was one of her favorite cars that she ever owned. She really loved this car. It ran like a million bucks, drove, handled great. I should say handled like a Cadillac, because that's what it did. Uh, but we're moving some things around the shop here today and we have to move the 73 Caddy. So, um, he put a, I think, brand new gas tank on it. He did some work underneath the car. He put a different trunk lid on it. I'm not exactly sure why her trunk was, was good when we sold it anyway. I don't know what he did to it, but he had it for quite a few years. He didn't, didn't have it stored inside, had it stored outside, so I don't know exactly what kind of elements the car faced. But uh, you can see he did some patchwork on the quarter panel here, and he's not uh, an experienced body guy, so we're going to have to go through and redo all that again. Uh, it looks like he might have took some of the clips off for the vinyl top. I don't know exactly. 
Uh, the bottom of the vinyl roof here, or the rear window area is gonna need some work. Right up here above the windows, it's gonna need a patch there. And he just like glob bondo on, I don't know. You know, I'm anxious to sand that down and see what, what's going on with it, but I got a few project cars in front of this one. Um, but I really would like to do this car and tribute to my mom and uh, drive it around, you know, at least one more time before something happens to me. Uh, it would be kind of nice. But I uh, got a lot of, awful lot of memories in this car. And like I said, it was a car that she drove um, when I was in high school. And I really hope to drive the car again. It's a 73 Coupe DeVille. They don't have a lot of value. You can typically pick these cars up pretty cheap. I think that they're going to increase in value over the years eventually. It's just going to take some more time. You can see stripped all the chrome off the hood. Um, it does have a 472 Cadillac engine in it. It is not the original engine. I remember my dad had changed that engine back in the 80s. I don't remember exactly why he did, but I know he put a different engine in it. Um, but I know one thing. It really, it goes like hell. It goes like hell. This car really ran. And uh, it was quite a quick car for a big old boat. And actually, believe it or not, out of all the cars we have here at the shop, we have the uh, 56 Caddy that you've seen earlier, the big green one. And that's a big car. We got 68 Caddies here at the shop. I have a 68 Sedan DeVille here at the shop that we have not done a video on yet. But uh, this is actually, believe it or not, one of the heaviest cars that we have here at the shop and this one weighs in at close to 5,000 pounds just under 5,000 pounds so it's a very heavy car one of the heaviest cars I've ever hauled on my trailer when it comes to a car so I think they're just a really cool car I've always loved these 71 through 73 caddies just love them and as I said, as of right now, the plan is to stay gold with a white top or the way she had it. I would love to do a triple black one of these one day, but not this one. This one I think needs to stay gold. What do you guys think down below? Comment down below and let me know, should it stay gold or should we go triple black? Um, I'll try to put a picture in the video as well as what the car looked like back when she had it and uh, see what you guys think. But it was really a pretty car the day that my dad brought it home. Um, he bought it used in the 80s, and I don't remember where he got it from, but always been a big loved car in my family. So it means a lot to me to have this car today and to have it back after she passed away because he sold it in the, I want to say, oh, probably late 80s he sold it. And I finally got the car back, like in 2014, I think I got the car back. Um, so it's kind of just been sitting around here waiting um, to have some stuff done to it. We tinkered around with the carburetor a little bit and uh, we're doing some carburetor work on it now to get it to run uh, again. And uh, other than that, we haven't had time to do really anything to it. But you can see it needs all new weather stripping, seals, just it needs so much work. It's really discouraging, but you know, like my wife said, it's, it's your mom's car. You can't replace that, you know. You can't replace that. You can build a tribute car, you build one just like it, but it's not her car, and this is. Frame is really good on this car. Um, yeah, it's it needs a lot of work, but you know, it's, that's part of uh, rebuilding a sentimental car, and a car that has sentimental value. I don't ever expect to get money back out of this car. I really don't give a shit. I'm not building it for the value of what it's going to sell for. That don't mean shit to me. I'm building it for the fact that it's a tribute car to her. And to be able to have it back on the road again, I think would mean a lot to her. So, all right guys, so there you have it. There's a scoop on the 1973 Cadillac Coupe de Ville that belonged to my mom back in the day. I hope you guys like it. Uh, I hope you guys believe in it as much as I do and that we can get this thing done and hopefully get it back on the road here soon. Like I said, if you have any contact for any parts for the 73 Caddy that you think we might need or you know, reach out to us type of thing, I can't tell you how much I'd appreciate it. Um, it's really important to me that I do something with this, with this car for her. So uh, thanks guys again for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget, click the subscribe button down below, please. And uh, we got lots more cars coming up here on the channel to feature. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take care of yourselves and God bless.